Welcome to the Oculus Quest 2 tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to properly set up your device and account for the first time. Inside the box, you'll find a headset, a pair of controllers, charger, charging cable, glasses spacer, reference guide, and safety and warranty guide. For the best experience, please be sure to fully charge your headset before setup. To set up your Oculus Quest 2, Download the Oculus smartphone app from either the Google Play or Apple App Store. You won't need your smartphone every time you use the device, but you will need one to complete the initial setup. Once you've installed the app, open it up and you'll see a login screen. Log in with your Facebook account or create one if you don't already have one. Games and apps you download will be linked to your account. That way, your purchases will be safe even if something happens to your headset. Now, it's time to set up your VR profile, which is your unique way to express yourself in VR. Add a VR profile photo and create your username. Next, you can add your Facebook friends. Connect with people you already know from Facebook so you can chat, play games together, and more. Then, you'll be prompted to select your privacy settings. Finally, add a payment method and create a PIN code. Use the PIN code when you want to purchase apps and games in the Oculus Store. Make sure the headset is turned on and nearby, and the app will prompt you to pair with your Quest 2 headset. Please make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is on. If the Oculus app does not automatically prompt you to pair, look in the headset for a five-digit code. And in the Oculus app, go to Devices, Pair New Headset, and type in the five-digit code you see inside of the headset. The headset will begin to pair with the app. Please don't close the app or switch apps until after you complete the setup process in VR. Once the headset is paired, read and follow the health and safety information provided. Visit the Oculus Safety Center for more information on the safe use of VR. You are now ready to complete setup in VR. Put on your headset and follow the instructions. After connecting your headset to Wi-Fi, your headset will update with the latest software and will play a sound when complete. Please keep the Oculus app open during this process. Here's an important note on how to properly wear your headset so that the picture is clear and the headset is comfortable. First, gently adjust the lenses by shifting them left and right until they click into the position that makes the picture clearest for you. There are three different lens spacing settings. Next, it's time to adjust the straps. Adjust the side straps first, then put on the headset and adjust the top strap. You can further improve the clarity by gently moving the firm arms on either side of the headset up and down to adjust the angle of the headset against your face. You'll know that the headset is worn correctly when it's resting lightly on your face and the picture appears clearly. Oculus Quest 2 allows you to enjoy VR untethered. Your space and preference will dictate which mode works best for you. You can play games in room scale with the ability to walk around in the play area, or in stationary mode, sitting or standing in one place. Room scale works best with 6.5 by 6.5 feet of space or larger. Evaluate your space and determine which mode works best. First, let's find a play area in a well-lit room and clear as much space as possible. Remove any obstacles which you might collide with while you're in your virtual environment and take note of any overhead hazards. Avoid use of the headset in, near, or under areas, objects, pets, or other things that could cause injury. The first step in Guardian setup is to calibrate tracking by setting the floor. To calibrate and set the height of the floor, gently lower your controller to the ground and look at it. You should see a virtual grid appear near the floor. Once the grid is correctly locked at floor level, hit continue. Remember to always wear your touch controller wrist straps when in VR. When setting up Guardian for the first time, you should see what we call pass-through. Pass-through is a feature which allows you to take a quick look at the outside world to help you get oriented in space while wearing the device. Pass-through is essential for creating your play area. Next, it's time to define your play area. Defining your play area will help Guardian notify you if you start to move outside of it. Point the controller at the ground and use the trigger button on the controller to trace a play area. Be sure to leave extra space between your play area and your walls, furniture, or other obstructions. 
You can skip this step if you don't want to walk around in VR and just want to use the Oculus Quest 2 in a stationary seated or stationary standing position. Once you hit continue, you'll see the blue guardian boundary tracing your play area. You'll get a warning if you get too close to the edge of this area or step outside. Check that this boundary is correctly positioned and clear of any obstructions. If guardian isn't drawn correctly, or you want to change the size or shape of the boundary, click the back arrow to restart the Guardian setup. To keep your Oculus Quest 2 operating at peak performance, here are some things you should know. It's important that you keep direct sunlight away from the headset. The sun's rays can cause permanent damage to the lenses and screen inside. Don't place it near a window or anywhere direct sunlight can hit the lens. To clean the lenses, use a dry optical lens microfiber cloth. Don't use liquid or chemical cleansers. When cleaning your headset, use non-abrasive antibacterial wipes to clean the straps and the facial interface foam. Don't use alcohol or an abrasive cleaning solution. Refer to the support articles on the Oculus website for more details on device care. Modifying the headset to work with glasses using the provided glasses spacer is easy. Your glasses frames are compatible if they're smaller than 142 millimeters wide and 50 millimeters in height. To insert the glasses spacer, gently remove the facial interface foam. Then attach the glasses spacer to the back of the facial interface with the glasses icon on the top. Press the spacer into the pressure points located on the top and bottom of the facial interface. You should hear a click once the spacer is locked in. Then reinsert the facial interface foam back into place. That's it. Oculus Quest 2 offers a wide variety of VR experiences to discover. Here's how to find and download them. In VR, click on the Explore menu, where you'll find recommended content, or select Store to see all of the available games and apps. Choose your content carefully and refer to provided content ratings. If you're new to virtual reality, start with the comfortable rated content before trying moderate, intense, or unrated content. Once you download something, you can always find it in your library. All of your purchases are linked to your account, so you'll never lose anything even if something happens to your headset. Here are some tips on how to use the controller properly. To make a selection in VR, hover your pointer over your selection and click the back trigger button. Pressing the Oculus button will bring up the menu. To quit out of a game or application, press the Oculus button, then hit quit. You can also use the Oculus app to easily browse, buy, and download content to your account. Oculus Quest 2 gives you the ability to cast, letting you share what you see in the headset with a friend. You can cast your VR picture to a mobile phone, compatible TV, or compatible casting-enabled device. In order to cast, you'll need the Oculus app handy. Make sure your phone is on the same Wi-Fi network as your headset. Then navigate to the Cast button on the top right of the App Menu tab. Next, you'll be prompted to select which device you want to cast from and where you want to cast to. If you don't have a casting-enabled TV, you can cast to your mobile phone instead. Once you select which device to cast to, there will be a confirmation prompt in your headset. In VR, click Allow to enable casting. This will share your picture in real time. For more information, visit the Oculus Support Center. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in VR.